<laughs> I'll call the meeting to order. Let's uh, pledge allegiance to the flag. Dan, would you lead us this evening? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Host? Here. White? Here. Underhill? Here. Michael F? Here. Zambito? Here. Someone moved to a, uh, approve the minutes of the February 15th, 2023 regular town board meeting. So moved. Second. Discussion. Roll call, please. Underhill? Yes. Michael F? Yes. Zambito? Yes. White? Yes. Yes. Are there any speakers this evening? If not, Sharon, would you do resolution number 55, please? Resolution to award proposal long side water service installation to <clears throat> Sergi Construction, Inc. Whereas the town of Batavia received three proposals for long side water service installations long side water service installations are required when an authorized water main lateral connections must be drilled under a road and whereas Sergi construction located at 775 <coughs> jewett homewood road east aurora new york 14052 was the lowest responsible proposal that will provide the town of batavia with all the required equipment service and conditions as detailed on the request for proposal and whereas, uh, and whereas the town engineer recommends award to Sergi Construction Inc. to provide the town of Batavia long side water services installation for the calendar year of 2023 <coughs> at a cost of $3,915 per long side water service installation. And whereas the town engineer expects less than five long side water services installation annually and an aggregate annual cost of less than twenty thousand dollars and therefore oh, i'm sorry now therefore be it resolved the batavia town board hereby awards Sergi construction inc to provide the town of batavia long side water services installation for the calendar year of 2023 at a cost of three thousand nine hundred fifteen dollars for long side water service installation and contingent upon providing the proper insurance requirements as detailed in the request for proposal. And be further resolved, the Batavia Town Board hereby authorizes the supervisor to <coughs> execute the contract agreement with Sergi Construction Inc., a copy of which is annexed hereto and made a part of the minutes. So moved. Second. Discussion. Roll call, please. White. Yes. Zambino? Yes. Underhill? Yes. Michael Ann? Yes. Popes? Yes. Dan, resolution number 56. Uh, training workshops resolved with the Tavid Town Board hereby authorizes the following personnel to attend training workshop. Andy Dick Angie Dickens Griffin, Laser Feed and Power 2023 Conference, April 4th to the 5th. 2023 in Orlando, Florida. The approximate cost for training, lodging, transportation, one-way driving, and meals is 1765. Steve Mountain AWWA annual conference, April 11th to April 13th in Saratoga Springs. The cost of the training is $400. Town employees CPR AED training, April 20th, 2023 at the Genesee County Fire Training Center. The cost is $25 per employee. Jennifer Zambito, New York State Town Clerks Association Conference, April 23rd to April 26th, 23 in Syracuse. Approximate cost for training, lodging, and meals is 990 plus fuel. A town vehicle will be used. So moved. Second. Discussion. <coughs> Roll call, please. Underhill? Yes. Michael? Yes. Zambito? Yes. White? Yes. Post? Yes. Resolution number 57. Lead agency status for the Genesee County Legislature Phase 3 Water Supply Project. Whereas the Genesee County Legislature wishes to assume lead agency status for the proposed Phase 3 Water Supply Project, and whereas the Town Board of Batavia as an involved agency does not object to the Genesee County Legislature assuming this role, 
Now, therefore, be it resolved, the Batavia Town Board hereby authorizes the supervisor to execute the seeker lead agency intent consent form designated the Genesee County Legislature as seeker lead agency for the phase three water supply project. <coughs> so moved. Second. Uh, discussion. Roll call, please. Post? Yes. White? Yes. Underhill? Yes. Michael? Act? Yes. Benito. Yes. Patty resolution number 58. Acknowledgement lease agreement for office and storage space, Mega Properties, Inc. Whereas the town of Tavia determined additional space is required <coughs> for the town's engineering design group and history department. And whereas resolution number 50, dated February 15, 2023, was adopted authorizing a lease agreement between Mega Properties, Inc. and the town of Tavia to lease 5,220 square feet of space on Federal Drive for additional space contingent on review of the agreement by the town attorney, and whereas the agreement was reviewed by the town attorney and approved, and whereas the lease agreement is for a three year period at a cost of $12 per square foot per month for the first year, $12.48 per square foot per month for the second year, and $12.98 per square foot for the third year. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the Town Board hereby acknowledges, reviews, receipt, and approval of the lease agreement being executed by the town supervisor between the town of Batavia and Mega Properties Inc. A copy of which is annexed here to and made part of the minutes. So moved. Second. Discussion. Roll call, please. Mike Black? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Zambito? Yes. White? Yes. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Chad, resolution number 59. Resolution to establish 2023 budgetary line items for Federal Drive Properties Lease. Resolved that the TV Town Board hereby establishes the following line items to account for the Federal Drive property lease. A1620.406 building, lease Federal Drive. A1440.401 engineering contractual Federal Drive. A1440.201 engineering equipment Federal Drive. So moved. Second. Discussion. Roll call, please. Zambito? Yes. Michael? Yes. White? Yes. Underhill? Yes. Oh. Yes. Sharon, resolution number 60. Resolution <laughs> authorizing 2023 budget transfer contingency federal drive property lease. Resolve the Batavia Town Board hereby authorizes the transfer of $127,000. Okay. okay. $127,200 from contingency line item A, 1990.400 <coughs> to fund the following line items. A, 1620.406 building, lease, Federal Drive, 52200 A, 1440.401 engineering, contractual, Federal Drive, 15000 A, 1440.201 engineering, equipment, Federal Drive, 60000 So moved. Second. Discussion. Roll call, please. White? Yes. Lambito? Yes. Underhill? Yes. Michael S? Yes. Hopes? <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> well, Dan, resolution 61. Temporary beer, wine, and cider permits issued to individual holding events at Wood Smith Estates, whereas Jan Smith, owner of Wood Smith, Smith states located 9149 Creek Road, Batavia was issued a special use permit by the town of Batavia for wedding venues and events. And whereas the New York State Liquor Authority allows Miss Smith to obtain a beer, wine, and cider permit only four times per year for events. And whereas individuals holding events at Wood Smith Estates can apply for a temporary beer, wine, and cider permit from New York State Liquor Authority providing the local municipality and law enforcement agency have no objections. And whereas Ms. Smith has requested and received a letter of support from the Genesee County Sheriff's Office and is requesting a letter of support from the town, now therefore be resolved the Batavia Town Board has no ob objections to individuals applying for a temporary beer, wine, and cider permit for events held at Woodsmith Estates, 9149 Creek Road, Batavia, New York, and be it further resolved that supervisor is here authorized to send a letter of support to the New York State Liquor Authority along with a certified copy of said resolution. So moved. Second. Okay. Discussion. <clears throat> Roll call, please. 
Underhill? Yes. White? Yes. Michael? Yes. Zambito? Yes. Post? Yes. 9183 Alexander Road Solar Energy Decommissioning Agreement, RP New York Solar 6 LLC. Whereas RP New York Solar 6 LLC submitted an application to the Town of Batavia for site plan approval for solar farm installation to be erected on parcel 9183 Alexander Road, known as Pike Road Solar Project. And whereas the Town of Batavia Planning Board approved the application on October the 18th, 2022, subject to the developer obtaining decommissioning bonds for such improvements in form suitable to the attorney for the town. And whereas the town attorney, in consultation with the town engineer, has presented a solar energy decommissioning agreement to be in the town on said parcel for signature by the town and the operator of such installation. And where the town desires to approve the decommissioning agreement as presented now, therefore, be it resolved, the supervisor is authorized to sign the solar energy system decommissioning agreement for Pike Road Solar Project located at 9183 Alexander Road, agreement by and between the town of Batavia and RPNY Solar 6 LLC, a copy of which is annexed here too and made a part of the town board minutes. So moved. Second. Discussion. Roll call, please. Post? Yes. Underhill? Yes. Michael Black? Yes. Mendino? Yes. White? Yes. Patty Resolution 63. 9071 Alexander Road <coughs> Solar Energy System Decommissioning Agreement, RPNY Solar 7 LLC. Whereas our PNY Solar 7 LLC submitted an application to the town of Batavia for site plan approval for solar <coughs> farm installation to be erected on parcel 9071 Alexander Road, known as Alexander Road Solar Project, and whereas the town of Batavia Planning Board approved the application on October 18, 2022, subject to the developer obtaining decommissioning bonds for such improvements in form suitable to the attorney for the town, and whereas the town attorney, in, cons in, in consultation with the town engineer, has presented a solar energy system decommissioning agreement to be in the town on set parcel for signature by the town and the operator of such installation. And whereas the town desires to approve the decommissioning agreements as presented, now therefore be resolved that the supervisor is authorized to sign the energy, solar energy system decommissioning agreement with the Alexander Road Solar Project located at 9071 Alexander Road, Batavia, agreement by and between the town of Batavia and our RPNY Solar 7 LLC, a copy of which is annexed here to and made a part of the town board minutes, so moved. Second. Discussion? Okay. Roll call, please. Mike Glenn? Yes. Underhill? Yes. Mito? <clears throat> yes. White? Yes. Oops. Yes. <coughs> CAD resolution number 64. <laughs> Code enforcement officer with amended agreement between the town of Batavia and the village of Alexander. Whereas the town of Batavia and the village of Alexander wish to enter into a code enforcement officer agreement, whereas the agreement addresses the need for the village of Alexander to have its code enforced by the town of Batavia code officials, I'll therefore be resolved pursuant to Article 5G of the General Municipal Law. The Batavia Town Board wishes to enter into a code enforcement officer ninth amended agreement between the town of Batavia and the village of Alexander code enforcement services, a copy of which is annexed here too, and be part of the minutes. And be it further resolved that the Tabletown Town Board hereby authorizes the supervisor to execute the aforementioned agreement. So moved. Second. Discussion? Roll call, please. Yes. Michael Yep. White? Yes. Underhill? Yes. Post? Yes. Sharon resolution number 65. United Way Day of Caring, resolved the Batavia Town Board hereby authorizes a team of five employees from the Town of Batavia to participate in the United Way Day of Caring, Thursday, May 11th, 2023. Employee must have department head approval to participate. So moved. Second. Discussion. Roll call, please. White? Yes. Yes. Underhill? Yes. Michael? Yes. Post. Yes. Again, resolution number 66. 
resolution of intent to provide operation and maintenance service of water main town of Darien water district number 11 whereas the town of Darien has a map plan a report prepared for water district number 11 and whereas the town is requesting consideration for the town of Batavia water department to provide contract to operate maintenance service of the water mains within the proposed water district now therefore be resolved the TV town board hereby intends to provide operation and maintenance service of the town of Darien water district number 11 water main continued upon operation and maintenance of water facility agreement and with operation and maintenance service agreement mutually approved between the town so moved second discussion roll call please underhill yes white yes michael F. yes Amito? yes Yes. Resolution number 67. Resolution to issue a negative declaration with regard to the sale of town real property located at 60 Evans Street to the Batavia De Development Corporation and to authorize this conveyance subject to permissive referendum. Whereas a certain approximately 4.26 plus or minus acre parcel of real property located at 60 Evans Street, Batavia, New York, Genesee County associated with tax identification number 84.014-2-61 the property is owned by the town of batavia the town and has been identified by the city of batavia the city as a strategic site as part of the city's brownfield opportunity area the boa and whereas the property had been vacant and underutilized for more than a decade and is adjacent to certain other parcels of real property owned by the city at 26 evans streets the city parcel, and the county of Genesee, the county at 8 Evans Street, the county parcel, and whereas the Batavia Development Corporation, the BDC, was established as a non-for-profit <coughs> local development corporation pursuant to section 1411A of the New York Non-for-Profit Corporation Law, the Act, to, amongst other things, to relieve and reduce unemployment promote additional employment, bettering and maintaining job opportunities, lessen the burdens of government, improve the quality of life within the city by encouraging and facilitating the development of underutilized real estate in the city. And whereas the BDC has determined that assembling and combining the property, the city parcel and the county parcel collectively, the combined new parcel to be referred to as the Creek Park Parcel, under the BDC's common ownership as a means to ultimately facilitate the remediation, rehabilitation, and redevelopment of the Creek Park parcel for future retail, commercial, and or industrial uses will enable the BDC to promote and provide for additional and maximum employment opportunities and investment consistent with the Act and the BOA for all the benefit of the town, the city, and the county. And whereas the city has expressed a desire to convey the city parcel to the BDC and the county has expressed a desire the county parcel to the BDC all for the purposes of facilitating the development of the Creek Park parcel and whereas the act authorizes the town board by resolution to determine that certain real property of the town not required for use by the town may be sold or leased to a non-for-profit local development corporation such as the BDC thereby lessening the burdens of government and acting in the public interest. And whereas the town does not require the use of the property and is willing to make the property available to the BDC for redevelopment in a manner consistent with the act, the BLA as herein described and whereas is contemplated that the town will transfer the property to the BDC, the action, for the redevelopment purposes pursuant to and in accordance with section 1411D of the act and whereas the two documents entitled agreement of purchase and sale and owner title affidavit have been reviewed by the town attorney and approved by him as to form and content and whereas pursuant to the act the disposition of the property to the bdc may be on such terms and for such amount or amounts as may be agreed upon by the town and the bdc as provided herein the town shall convey the property to the bdc for ten dollars subject to the BDC agreeing to release the town and its officers, representative as employees, past and present and future here and after, from and against any and all losses, damages, liabilities, demands, claims, suits, and causes of action for whatever nature and kind 
arising from or related to the past, current, and or future physical and or environmental condition at, under, or emanating, or migrating to or from the property, whether known or unknown. <laughs> Whereas the town has prepared an environmental assessment form, EAF, as defined under Part 617 of the general regulations adopted pursuant to the New York State Environmental Quality Review Act, CEQRA, and determined that the action is an unlisted action as defined under CEQRA according to, accordingly does not require a coordinated review. And whereas the town has reviewed the EAF and analyzed and considered any relevant areas of environmental concern and the probable <laughs> environmental impacts of the action to determine if the action may have any significant adverse environmental effects. And whereas pursuant to and in accordance with section 1411D of the Act, the town caused a notice of public hearing to be published at least 10 days prior to the date thereof and duly held a public hearing to consider the transfer of the property to the BDC. Now, <coughs> therefore, be it resolved that the action entails merely the transfer of the property to the BDC, thereby permitting the BDC to facilitate the establishment of the Creek Park parcel for yet to be determined unknown and speculative future uses consistent with the BOA such that the action contemplated herein will not result in an adverse impact to the land, will not adversely affect any water body designated as protected pursuant to the New York Environmental Conservation Law, nor will the action affect any non-protected existing or new body of water. There will be no significant adverse impact to existing air quality from the action. There will be no substantial adverse environmental impacts to plants and animals from the action. The action will not cause a significant adverse effect on aesthetic resources in the area. The action will not adversely impact any site or structure of historic, prehistoric, paleontological importance, and the action will not adversely impact open space or recreation. The action will not have any adverse impact on transportation, and there will be no adverse impact from the action on the growth and character of the community or neighborhood. And be it further resolved that the town board hereby determines for the foregoing reasons that the action will not have a significant potential adverse environmental impact in accordance with CEQRA and that no environmental impact statement as such quoted term is defined under CEQRA need be prepared for this action. This determination constitutes a negative declaration as such quoted terms are defined under CEQRA for purposes of CEQRA and be it further resolved that the town board hereby determines pursuant to section 1411D of the act and upon review of all comments and information presented at the duly scheduled notice and conducted public hearing that the property is not required for use by the town and be it further resolved that the town board authorizes the transfer subject to permissive referendum of the town real property located at 60 Evans Street as more particularly described herein to the Batavia Development Corporation for the sum of $10 pursuant to a quit claim deed a copy of which is annexed to the town board minutes and made a part thereof, and be it further resolved that town supervisor is hereby authorized and directed to execute after the referendum period expires any and all documents necessary to effectuate the conveyance and transfer of all rights, title, and interest of said real property, including but not limited to the proposed agreement of purchase and sale and the owner title affidavit, which are hereby approved by the town board copies of which are annexed here too and made a part of the minutes and be it further resolved the Batavia Development Corporation accepts responsibility to file and record all documents. So moved. Any discussion? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Roll call please. Post. Yes. Under <laughs> Yes. Michael Ack, if you go to read it again. <laughs> yes. Gambito? Yes. White? Yes. <laughs> wow. I'd do it for you, Patty. I know you would. <laughs> and for the record, that's the longest time he's ever spoken on the rest of that. Yeah, really. There used to be some water districts. I think I'd be that a couple times. You did, you did well. <clears throat> Moving on. Would someone move to pay the bill? So move. Second. Discussion. Thank you all for your efforts and um, 
filtering through those and asking your questions and making sure that it was money well spent. I appreciate that. Roll call, please. Underhill? Yes. White? Yes. Michael S? Yes. Anita? Yep. Oh, yes. <laughs> Under my report, um, mm -hmm. it's time for my pill. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you have to wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing. It's really time for my pill. That was good. Under my report, our uh, status report for the town's expenditures and revenues is available for your review. I would like to uh, mention the fact that the uh, American Public Works Association, New York chapter, which is a statewide organization, um, sent the town of Batavia a letter saying that the town of Batavia is the 2022 recipient of the New York State APWA Charter Project of the Year for the Park Road Rehabilitation Project. So the regional award offered um, and, and, and given to the town for their efforts in this project has now been recognized by the state uh, board uh, that reviews and approved projects and recommends them for citation. Um, I just want to say at this time how proud I am of our staff <laughs> and the technical aspects, the engineering assets, our partnership with the firms that were involved in the design and construction over the last 15 years, um, the clerks and the accounting people and the town board members um, who have maintained their focus and continued and persistently pursued this until it was completed be acknowledged because without all of your participation, we would not have finished this out and it would not have been as good a project as it turned out. And to get statewide recognition for that is, uh, it's very humbling and it's very much appreciated. So that is uh, um, something to look forward to and, uh, and, and uh, it kind of sets the goals for the next upcoming projects that we have in the pipeline. And just for everyone's information, there will be a GAM meeting tomorrow evening hosted here at the town of Batavia at 7 p.m. Um, and that concludes um, my report this evening. Sounds like it. Is some person here? Yeah. Oh, first time? Hmm? Mm -hmm. In person? I said in person. Yes, we're having a meeting at GAM in person. <clears throat> Teresa, what do you have? Okay, February town clerk monthly report. We collected $3,696, remitted $3,585.50 to the supervisor for the local share. February tax collection, we collected $578,673.90, remitted $5,585.86 to the supervisor for the penalties. The remainder was remitted to the Genesee County Treasurer's Office. Trainings, uh, we were notified by Genesee Finger Lake Regional Planning Council. Their spring local government workshop is May 18th. It's at Batavia Downs this year, and mm -hmm. town officials have been notified of that. And that's all I have at the moment. Any committee reports? Well, Sharon, <laughs> it's that time. You got any old business? Nope, no old business. Chad, you got any new young business? No, no, sir. Can someone move to adjourn, please. No, so moved. Second. Roll call, please. Underhill? Yes. Michael? Ed? Yes. Zambito? Yes. White? Yes. Oh. Yes. Thank you all again for the efforts. Um, over the past month, it's been uh, been a pretty steep climb to cover all of this, and uh, I know there's hundreds of pages to read. But I appreciate all the partnership and the, and the questions and the solutions um, to our community's issues. So um, thank you so much for participating. It's been uh, been a terrific start to the new year. Got a lot of good stuff ahead of us. So, good job.
Be safe on your way home.